Here, here, he plots. Here, here, here. Is there, um, is there any particular new system of control, for example, or guard, or a system of techniques, or a system of um, different types of applications, or an ideas that you have conceptually formulated for yourself, or by yourself, that perhaps you, for example, in 2009, Gracie introduced um, different types of uh, crucifix chokes, and there's been a, a lot of evolutions, even here in Colorado, and different people that have evolved the crucifix to other different levels mm -hmm. and different whole positions. And with Marcelo Garcia and Eddie Bravo and all those different Absolutely. types of people, is there anything yourself that you feel that you've that that would be something that you would want to show or talk about? Yeah, to people? I got a few moves that I think you know. Every everyone in jujitsu like to think they've developed something. <laughs> it's all clear. You know, so. I don't like to play that game, but I'm going to play it. So I think that uh, uh, a guard pass that I like to do, um, I've, I've uh, experimented, experimented with it in the Pan Ams, uh, and it worked. I, I experimented with uh, it in the uh, World Championships. It worked. Okay. So I think I'm on to something. And I, I haven't seen it done like this. So okay. um, when you guys are ready, I'll, sh yep. I'll show that. And uh, is there any, any last words that you'd like to, to say or uh, maybe give that motto that you have for your student? Uh, uh, anything to say? I'd like to thank my family, my wife, Catherine Shorten. I'd like to uh, uh, thank my, uh, my kids for putting up with me. <laughs> and, um, uh, and all my jiu-jitsu guys, man, that come every day. And, and, and sometimes I'm feeling down. Sometimes I don't even want to do it. But then I feel the energy from my guys, and it picks me up, you know, and it makes me able to uh, keep going. Yeah. Is there any competitions in the future or anything that you see in your future? There's something that you would like to uh, achieve as a personal small-term goal. Um, right now, uh, I'm uh, getting the guys ready for the Pan Ams and, and um, the end of March. Sure. So we're doing uh, a lot of uh, training. Is that the ADCC? Training. No, it's the Pan American oh, Championships. The Pan -American in, championships. In, in, uh, Carson City, I think, California, and uh, I already have a, a, a purple belt, who's now a brown belt, that purple belt, he took third in the world championships last year, so for a teacher, man, that's like, you know, even if I never get to that level, if I never get third, I've done it vicariously through, right. through him. You know? And do you think that's important that, that um, instructors have students that are obviously willing to take on their legacy? And, and, and learn and to evolve the things that they've learned. Yeah, yeah, I'm glad you said that because I tell my guys eventually, you know, all you guys are kind of my jujitsu children, if I can say. Right? right? Uh, you know, in the beginning, you do the same chokes that I do, you do the same arm bars that I do, right? But as you evolve, you start taking my techniques and fitting it to your personal body type and your style and what you like to do, your conditioning level. And and I'm starting to see that happen in my gym. And it's very neat where they're they're saying, you know, hey professor, can you can you see this? And it's something that it looks like something I would do, but they take it somewhere else and I'm like, wow, I never thought of that. You know? So it's important for me to listen to my students. And I want them to listen to me, but I want I'm gonna listen to them too. Because maybe they come up with something. I never squash what they may come up with. Because maybe, you know, something goes. You know? Well, it sounds like um, a, a lot of times there's a clash between traditionalists and there's a clash between traditionalists and then people who have evolved their own methodologies. Sure. And it, I will say that it's an honor for us to talk to you, especially Very because nice. you seem one of the few individuals that we've interviewed who actually has a grounded sense of reality in that sense, yeah. that everything can evolve. But you don't throw away your traditions. You don't disrespect your traditions. No. But you don't put all your faith in an evolution that hasn't proven itself yet either. Exactly, exactly. Um, okay. You know, and I ask my students to take me to task if, if that technique is not working for me. Take me to task. Make sure, you know, that it works. Because if it doesn't work, we throw it away. This is jiu-jitsu. Right? If it doesn't work and it doesn't apply to you, you can't use it. It won't work in real life or you know on the mat. So uh, if I'm showing something funky, let me know.
anything else. Is there any any last things that you'd like to say or mention or anything like that which you would like to cover personally? Um, well, I'd just like to thank you guys for coming out and interviewing me. Uh, uh, good luck to you guys and, uh, uh, and to my family, my wife, um, and all my guys. Thank you very much. Well, thank you, Mr. Hill. It's been an honor interviewing. Absolutely. And we look forward to hopefully doing it again sometime. Absolutely.